So my name's Gareth Parks. I'm a consultant in gastroenterology here at the London Independent Hospital in Stepney Green. All sorts of patients come and see me here. Um, I suppose they fit into two categories, really. There are some patients who've got existing disease and they would like specialist advice from us as to how they might manage that or further investigate it or they're having problems with that disease. And there are those patients who've got brand new symptoms who are coming to see me for the first time. Those symptoms are quite varied. I suppose typically there'll be things like uh, abdominal pain or tummy pain. They might be that you're feeling quite sick or have been vomiting. Maybe you've lost weight. And there are going to be some patients who come because their bowels have changed. So they might have more going to the toilet more often with diarrhea. Or they might have noticed the bowels go the other way and they've become constipated for the first time. Uh, they might have seen blood uh, when they uh, pass motions, uh, either on the paper or in the pan. And all of those are exactly the kind of symptoms that we want patients to come uh, and come and see us because there can be some quite concerning causes for that. And our job is to try and reassure patients and to reach a quick and easy diagnosis. What happens when you come and see me? Well, I suppose on your first consultation, I'm going to understand exactly what other medical conditions you might have, what medications you take on a regular basis. We'll ask some questions about things like your family history, whether you smoke or drink. Uh, and then we're going to really focus in on why you're here to see us and go through all those symptoms and try and really understand exactly what it is that's been troubling you. Uh, we'll often do an examination uh, um, whilst you're here with us and that would just be in the room itself. And then we might need to ask for a series of investigations. Um, those investigations typically might be analysis of blood, uh, looking at stool, because unfortunately as a gastroenterologist, often the secret to what's going on with you is, is actually within uh, the stool itself. Uh, so if we do ask for one of those, I'm afraid that's just part of our routine test. Most people are a bit squeamish. We might ask for things like scans. That might be an ultrasound, an MRI scan, or occasionally a CT scan. Uh, to have a look uh, at the abdomen, at the bowel, at the liver and the organs within in more closer depth. And then finally, one of the tests that we do on a regular basis is endoscopy. So endoscopy just means a camera going inside the human body. And we do a variety of different camera tests here at uh, the London Independent. But as a gastroenterologist, I suppose typically we're either looking down into your stomach or having a look up in through the back passage into the colon or large bowel. Why do we do that? Well, we do that for a variety of reasons. I suppose typically looking into the stomach, we might be looking for things like uh, evidence of damage from acid reflux, and those typically cause symptoms like heartburn or chest pain, difficulty swallowing. All of those we want to have a look at the gullet. We might want to look down at the stomach to look for signs of ulceration, uh, so uh, a gastric ulcer, stomach ulcer, where the, the acid has eroded through the lining can cause to pain, nausea, uh, at worst even bleeding or a tear in the lining of the stomach, although that's very rare. We can look for uh, inflammation, typically caused by a bacteria that can colonize the stomach. And we can look down through the stomach into the small intestine where we can get, again, it's a site of ulcers, but it's also uh, a site, our first and only entrance into the small intestine of the body where all the absorption of nutrients can take place. So if you've been losing weight, you've become anemic, we might take some samples from there. Up into the colon, and this is the bit that most patients feel pretty anxious about. Um, understandably, they're very nervous. Um, it, it, your dignity slightly <laughs> is, is left at the door because before you come and see us, you'll be taking some bowel preparation. That's some special medicine. I'm afraid it's not the nicest thing in the world. Uh, but you drink that down and it flushes absolutely everything out of your body so that when we go up inside, we have a fantastic view of the colon inside. And actually, most people worry about that they're going to, you know, that there's going to be stools still inside. But actually, the bowel preparation is incredibly effective. And if you follow the instructions, we get fantastic views. And often that puts patients at uh, their minds at ease. Some patients even feel better. People pay good money to go and have colonic irrigations and actually by taking bowel preparation you get exactly the same results. So you feel completely empty and cleansed uh, and so that when the camera goes up inside we have fantastic views. Then we'll often give you pain relief or sedation and we'll pass the camera inside the back passage and aim to negotiate our way up through the bends of the bowel 
it takes about 15-20 minutes in total and we have a really fantastic look inside. Why are we doing that? Well, we're having a look at the lining of the bow. We're looking for things like polyps. Polyps are benign, so non-cancerous lesions uh, that you can find inside the bowel and which uh, run the risk of turning into bowel cancer in years' time. So the analogy I often use, it's a bit like going for a smear test for women. Most women will have had a smear test at some point in their lives. The point of a smear test is not to find cancer. It's to find those precancerous cells that you can remove really easily with a small procedure and therefore never have to do a major operation. And the analogy is really similar in having a colonoscopy. We don't want to ever find bowel cancer. We want to find the precursor, these polyps that can form, which we can remove often with the camera without the need for a major operation and which prevents bowel cancer happening at all. We're removing those cells before they ever turn cancerous. So it's a fantastic way of doing that. Uh, we'll then travel all the way around. We often find some other conditions. I specialize in something called uh, inflammatory bowel disease, patients with Crohn's and colitis. And quite often patients are coming to see me because they've got that disease and they'd like a second opinion about that. Uh, occasionally we'll find that everything's normal. Not occasionally, that's really what we want to find. It's great news if everything's normal. And I suppose a typical reason that patients come and see me is they might have something called irritable bowel syndrome, which is where the, uh, the, the bowel doesn't function properly. You've got pain, you've got diarrhea, sometimes constipation. You can often feel very bloated, but actually the lining inside is quite normal. That's okay because we can try and manage that irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, in a number of different ways. And after all those series of investigations, we might well try things like seeing a dietitian or trying probiotics or uh, possibly even sort of working on things like stress and anxiety, which can play a role in this condition. And I think that's, I suppose, basically what you'd come to expect when you come and visit us here at the London BMI.